Blue Beetle is a DC character whose real name is Jaime Reyes, and he has an alien scarab attached to his spine that gives him his armour and his superpowers. This armour can transform in an instant from the scarab and create a variety of weapons for him to use. Iron Man is a Marvel character whose real name is Tony Stark, and he's a super genius who built himself a suit of armour that is light years ahead of our current level of technology. And the two use their armour to be superheroes and to fight crime. They live in two different universes, and in the normal course of events they would never meet, let alone fight one another. But for the purposes of this video, let's assume that they cross over dimensions and that they have to fight one another. In this scenario, the two are on their own and only have their armour and their wits. So, who would win? Well, in terms of power level, they are pretty equal. Their suits allow them to fly, shoot lasers, they of course armour their bodies, and they increase their strength. Iron Man's armour is powered by an arc reactor, which is probably the greatest generator on Marvel's Earth. But the Blue Beetle Scarab is powered by alien technology that is possibly mystical in nature, and it seems to never run out of power. And although Iron Man's arc reactor is very impressive, its power reserves have been taken down before. However, Blue Beetle seems to never run out of power. How this is possible is a bit of a mystery, but as I said, in the past Blue Beetle's power source has been linked to being mystical in nature. But in any case, the Scarab has never run out of power before, so if the fight went on long enough and their power reserves began to be depleted, it's most likely the Blue Beetle would have power for longer, so he wins this round. Blue Beetle also has the advantage of having the armour linked into his body's nervous system, so he has perfect control over it, whereas Iron Man's armour is just something he wears. However, Iron Man's armour is only a suit of armour that he wears in the movies. In the comics, he has had the suit hardwired into his body using extremist technology. Me, I'm just a guy in an iron suit, but I've always wanted to be more. Meaning that Iron Man's armour is a part of him, just as Blue Beetle's armour is a part of Blue Beetle. So in terms of response time, they're on fairly equal footing. But in terms of weapons, Blue Beetle wins hands down. His suit can transform into a variety of weapons, including swords, maces, sonic weapons, laser weapons, and even firing electromagnetic pulses. One starlight blocking electromagnetic pulse coming up! Iron Man does have missiles and repulsors in his armour, but these really aren't on the same level, so Blue Beetle definitely comes out ahead in terms of weaponry. But the armour's weapons and tech are only a part of the battle. Iron Man's deadliest weapon is his mind. After all, he was smart enough to design and build all of the Iron Man armour on his own, whereas Jaime Reyes is just a kid who found the scarab. And though Jaime isn't stupid, he is nowhere near as smart as Tony Stark. So it would seem likely that Tony Stark could outthink him in a fight, and maybe even hack into the Blue Beetle armour and shut it down. But Jaime isn't alone, he also has the Scarab. Now the Scarab is essentially an AI built into the Blue Beetle armour, and it seems to be designed for combat and little else. And though it's not as smart as Tony Stark, in terms of strategy it is unmatched, and the Scarab could not only counter Tony Stark's hack attempt, but could probably hack Iron Man's armour instead, while Jaime Reyes carries on fighting and distracting Iron Man. And even if Blue Beetle ignores the Scarab's advice and makes the wrong decision, the Scarab will just take over. I don't think so. Then Jaime Reyes, you leave me no choice. I am taking control. In the past, when it looks like a fight is lost, the Scarab has just taken control of the armour to ensure that they win. And the Scarab is of course much more proficient with the armour than Jaime is. Experience is also a huge factor in the superhero fight, and out of the two of them, Iron Man is definitely the more experienced in fighting and on how to beat someone who is stronger than you. Whereas Jaime Reyes is still very much in training in pretty much all of his incarnations. So in terms of experience and skill, Tony definitely comes out ahead. Now, Blue Beetle has been shown before to be vulnerable to mystic energy. But Iron Man doesn't have any mystic powers or abilities. If he could call in Doctor Strange, it would help, but on his own, Iron Man can't take advantage of this weakness. Iron Man can, of course, call in his Hulkbuster armor, which is capable of fighting the Hulk, so this would give him a huge physical advantage in terms of strength. However, in the Blue Beetle comics, Blue Beetle has been able to increase his armor in a very similar way, that gives him armor that is equivalent to the size and power of the Hulkbuster armor, except the Blue Beetle's armor is more likely stronger, as it's more advanced technology. It is, after all, made by aliens that have tech more advanced than anything we can even think of. But this is really a tie, as both of the two armors Hulkbuster modes are very formidable, but there isn't a clear way of seeing which is better. So, in terms of power, Iron Man would lose. In terms of tech and strength, he would lose. 
He does have more experience, but the Scarab has combat experience that he can advise Jaime with. And with the Scarab, it's two against one, which gives Blue Beetle the edge. So out of the two of them, it seems that Blue Beetle would likely win. That being said, if this was the first fight that the two have had, I would definitely bet on Blue Beetle. But if it was the second fight and Tony Stark had had time to think and to invent something new that could neutralise the Scarab's armour, it may be a different story, as he could invent a gadget that shuts Blue Beetle's armour down. But without preparation, I think that Blue Beetle would definitely defeat Iron Man in battle. Blue Beetle wins. Of course, this is only my opinion, and this is only if the two were on a one-on-one -on -one fight. After all, with Tony Kukul in the Avengers, this would be a different story. But which of the two do you think would win? Do you agree with me, or do you think Iron Man would win the fight? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Need of Mass Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week, and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.